The future of the Violence Against Women Act is hanging in the balance of the Senate as lawmakers debate reauthorizing the legislation. The bill was initially passed in 1994 and designed to address crimes often committed against women, like domestic abuse and sexual assault. It's been reauthorized three separate times, but it expired in 2018. The current bill, which passed in the House earlier this year, would expand victim services and also strengthen protections for LGBTQ and Native American women. According to the Justice Department, the murder rate among indigenous women is 10 times higher than the national average. And statistics from the National Institute of Justice shows more than four out of five indigenous women have experienced violence in their lifetime. For more on this, I want to bring in Valenda Mor Morgiao. Her family member, Jermaine Charlo, uh, is a Native American woman from Montana who has been missing for three years. There has been no closure in her case. Valenda, I am so sorry that your family is going through this. Tell us about Jermaine and the circumstances surrounding her disappearance. Um, Jermaine is my niece. She went missing um, three and a half years ago. Um, she leaves behind her two little boys. Um, sorry. Um, She went missing out of Missoula, Montana, and nobody's heard or seen from her since. I can tell how difficult it is to not know anything more about her and the circumstances of her disappearance. How do you think that legislation like the Violence Against Women Act could better protect women like your niece, Jermaine, and what other actions do you think needs to be taken? I think that when somebody is reported missing, that no matter the circumstance, no matter what situation they were in, that something needs to be done right away. So crucial evidence isn't lost, which is what happens a lot with a lot of Native American women. In Jermaine's case, that was a huge mistake, is that um, the police didn't take her case seriously in the very beginning. And because of that, there's a lot of evidence that cannot be recovered at this point. And as I mentioned earlier, more than 80 percent of indigenous women have experienced violence in their lifetime. Um, and as you, as you point out, their cases often fall through the cracks. Um, we know in the case of your family, when you initially came to law enforcement, they didn't really act during those critical 48 hours. Where else did law enforcement and government really go wrong in investigating Jermaine's case? Um, I, I was told that she, that they, that they searched the hospitals and homeless shelters and just your typical places to go looking, but because she was not considered in immediate danger, that that's why it wasn't taken seriously. But, and because most of the time, women, they say that women are dodging their responsibilities um, in most cases that they're found safe, which I think is a phenomenal thing. I mean, regardless of what they're doing, as long as they're found safe and their family at least has, has that to know that they're safe. For too long, missing and abused women of color have received scant attention. Tell us what this experience has been like for you as you've tried to get people to pay attention to Jermaine's case, and if there's anything you want to share about how we should be changing it, I'd love to hear. Um, it's been extremely hard. Um, but the holiday season is it's really hard on her family when we have family gatherings that she's not there and her boys aren't with us. Um, the biggest thing that 
I will I will say that um, all women and girls need to take from this is to always let somebody know where you are and as parents monitor what your kids are doing on social media. It's not an invasion of privacy. It's there to protect your kids and If Linda Morrow, yeah. Oh, sorry. I just, I, I just wanted to say, I, I appreciate you coming to, even though I can tell how difficult it is for you to have this conversation with us, to, to come and not just um, spread the message about Jermaine's disappearance and the search for answers for her, but also the way that you and your family have extended this to, to focus on, on these greater, these greater problems in our society and try and bring attention to so many women. Belinda, thank you.